This is the preamp that I use for my condenser microphone on my computer, like if I'm talking on Skype or just uh, making a recording for whatever reason. And uh, it's a great little preamp, but it has one rather big annoyance for me, and that's the lack of a power switch. I have to keep disconnecting the AC adapter from the back every time I'm not using it. So I'm going to see about adding a very small toggle switch for power. Uh, once I get the cover off, I'm going to see where the best position is to mount it, see if I can get it put in there. Alright, I got the cover off, and there's not a whole lot of extra space inside here. Uh, I didn't really need to unbolt this, but it's actually easier that way. This has a Chinese 12AX7 tube in it, and some op amps, so it's a hybrid design, which I kind of figured. And I think I'm going to mount the power switch right here on this back corner. Kind of inconspicuous and still easy to reach from where it sits on my desk. Here's the back of the circuit board. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in this trace here that goes from the, from the power jack uh, to the next part of the circuit. And um, hook a pair of small wires up to that which will go up to the switch. It'll be a totally reversible modification, but I can't see why anybody would ever want to reverse it. Alright, here's a close-up of the board. You can see the little cut that I made there using a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel. That made it a quick and easy job. And then uh, I just attached two short pieces of wire to uh, either side. And those will go up to the switch. So let me get this all mounted back in and see how it all fits. Here it is with the switch all installed. There should be just enough clearance to fit inside the top cover. Ah, perfect. Time to take it upstairs and give it a test. I didn't bring the AC adapter down here because it's buried in my computer desk. Got the switch on the back there. So I can just turn it on or off instead of uh, having to pull the plug in and out all the time. I think what they had in mind with these little preamps like this is that it'd be plugged in, into a receiver or something else with a switched AC output. But for what I'm using it for, I really need that switch. So, time to go see if it works. Alright, I'm all hooked up, ready to go. Here's the microphone I use. It's, it says CLI on it. It was made for an old CLI Eclipse video conferencing system from like the 90s, I think. It's actually made by Audio Technica, though. It's a AT863R slash B1, made in Japan. Only thing it needs is a new windscreen. It's uh, the foam inside there starting to deteriorate and affect the high frequency response a bit. Uh, it's so nice to be able to just turn this on whenever I need it. No more pulling plugs out. Since it's got a cheap tube in there, there's lots of room for tweakability. I think I've got an extra Amperex Bugle Boy 12AX7A that I could put in there. Same kind of tube I put in my uh, Phono preamp, which is actually right over there. So. Maybe it'll sound even better then. I would do a uh, sound demo on it, but I'm not quite sure how to go about doing that. 